I'm an instructor at an Hussain Education Institute. I prepare students for the, for the IB admission test and I've been doing that for the past 20 years uh, now, Alhamdulillah. In today's video, we will be deconstructing the IB test. Therefore, this is extremely important for those of you who are planning to sit for the IB test in the next couple of weeks. Um, which means that in this video, we will be analyzing the IBA pass papers in close detail and figuring out what areas you need to focus on exactly in order to maximize your score over the next two weeks. But before we begin, let's have a look at the IBA test format. Now, you need to understand that the IBA test format is not fixed. In fact, it is flexible. It has evolved over the past 20 years. But the IBA test format has a general skeleton. So you need to understand that that particular skeleton, that particular format of the test. Uh, number one, the test format at present consists of two sections, math and verbal. In each of these two sections, you get approximately 45 to 50 questions. The time frame for the verbal section varies from 40 to 60 minutes for the entire verbal section. And the time frame for the math section varies between 50 to 80 minutes for the entire math section. Which means for the math section, you could have anywhere between 1 minute to 1.5 minutes per question. Moving forward, um, let's have a look at the math syllabus of the test. Now the math syllabus of the older IBA test used to have three portions. The first portion was mental math or quick math where you had to do very quick calculations in a very limited amount of time. The second portion of the older test format had number series, which was a relatively easier part of the test. And the third portion had questions on problem solving. Now problem solving was the most challenging out of these three because it, it included a lot of topics. For example, it included averages, it included questions on percentages, ratios, selling price, cost price, mixtures, partnerships, age problems, work problems, simple interest, compound interest, etc. Um, over the past few years, IBA started adding more topics to this uh, particular math section, which means they first added algebra to the math part of the IBA test. And now algebra has actually become a very significant part of the IBA test. Then they added geometry to the IBA test and then later on they added some miscellaneous intermediate level or A level topics to the IBA test which includes uh, permutations and combinations, probability, functions and graphs, arithmetic progression, geometric progression, trigonometry and a few others. Which means the current IBA test can include any or all of these six portions of math. Number one, mental math. Number two, series. Number three, problem solving. Number four, algebra. Number five, geometry. And number six, some miscellaneous, intermediate or A-level math topics. Moving on to the more important part of the video, let's actually deconstruct the IBA test and try to figure out which topics matter the most to IBA. If we have a close look at the recent IBA past papers, specifically from the year 2016 till 2019, which means I'm looking at eight past papers in total, you will be surprised to find out that IBA gives a lot of importance to a select few topics, which means if you figure out those select few topics, you have a greater chance of performing well at the IBA test. Now the first and the most important topic for the IBA test over these past eight papers has been algebra. Algebra has been a staggering 23% of the, of the questions on these eight past papers, which means one out of every four question is algebra. Um, algebra could be something as easy as indices and linear equations, or it could be something more challenging, which includes inequalities and absolute values. Okay, the next topic on the IBA test, which is important, is geometry word problems. Now, geometry word problems focus mainly on coordinate geometry, but there could be questions dealing with triangles, circles, quadrilaterals, and even three-dimensional figures. Um, the third most important topic for the IBA test is functions and graphs. Students should be comfortable, comfortable in dealing with functions uh, they should be comfortable in handling questions re related to domain and range 
They should also be comfortable in dealing with questions which have graphs of functions. The fourth most important topic on the IBA test is integers or number properties, which means you have a lot of questions on uh, numbers, even numbers, odd numbers, prime numbers, uh, rules of divisibility, factors, multiples, counting concepts, etc. The fifth most important topic for the IBA test is averages. Students should be able to handle questions dealing with mean, median and mode. Uh, the sixth most important topic is percentages. The seventh most important topic is arithmetic or mental math, which means students should be able to solve questions which, which require you to quickly process numbers and figure out the answer without using a calculator. And the eighth most important topic is number sequence and series, which primarily includes arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Now, if you have a close look at these eight topics, and if we examine these past eight IPA papers from 2016 till 2019, you will be surprised to find out that more than 75% of the questions in those eight papers were from these eight topics, which shows you how important these topics are. Students who've already covered these important eight topics can now move on to tier two topics, which are of secondary importance in the IBA test. Uh, the tier two topics in the IBA test would be ratios, fractions, permutations and combinations, probability, and logic word problems. So if we look at the recent IBA past papers, these five topics have occurred regularly in the IBA papers and you can expect one to two question on each of these five topics. One final tip, IBA has also started adding topics to its uh, papers and you will see that some topics which have been recently added have a very repetitive nature of question. Uh, those topics include trigonometry, equation of a circle, complex numbers and remainder factor theorem. So if you, if you uh, want to figure out what kind of question IBA gives on these topics, all you need to do is have a close look at recent IBA papers and you will realize that these four topics have very repetitive questions, which means if you practice those questions, there's a, there's a very strong chance you will be able to tackle a similar question in the, in the upcoming IPA test. Um, now that we've reviewed what matters most to IPA, students can actually focus on what is more important and leave the unimportant topics because of scarcity of time. Uh, students who are interested in, uh, in looking at a study plan over the final two weeks of the IPA preparation can look towards our next video, which will focus exactly on that. I wish all of you the very best of luck on the IPA test. Thank you.